So hey YouTube friends, uh, I got a comment from Anthony Wessel, so or West, uh, something like that. Uh, anyhow, Anthony said I'd make a video of the modifications and what I've done with the, my full setup on this crane. So start beginning to end. Uh, I got dual batteries in the diesel truck here, so I came off this battery and I got a 300 amp breaker in there. But what's nice is you can just push that reset and it works kind of like a shut off. Then I run that back to this box, which happens to be directly below the winch. And I have another battery, an optimum battery, yellow top in there. And uh, I did put a shut off in there as well, if need be. So, and then we'll start down here. I got uh, winch controls right here, so I can go up and down with it. And then I also got the wireless remote. So let's put the wireless remote back in. And then I will get crawled up and show some of the winch setup itself here. So let me get jumped up here. So let's see. The first thing that broke was the little Harbor Freight bottle jack here. So I, it actually, when that one broke, it blew the bottom right off of it. Um, so I was able to find a jack like, like this size, but it's way bigger. So I moved from here out to here. And the next thing that I broke on it was I broke this off. So I welded it on, but I also put this channel here. So if it gets heavily loaded, it comes back and gets some support there. But uh, I think it was probably just crappy welds there because a later modification prevents this from ever touching. So <clears throat> the uh, this was on it when I got it. I actually never bought the Harbor Freight deal I bought a truck and it had it on it with like a hand crank boat winch um, I think this mount is something it comes with if not you'll want to do something there and I got it welded to the headache rack but I was starting to see lots of deflection up here became the new weak point so I took a piece of steel and just looped it up here um, and that helps hold that back and even with weight on it it swings relatively easy so it had some crappy little block out here, so I took, uh, this is just like your cheap little winch snatch block, and I cut like the little ears off of it here, and uh, then just welded it in here, and especially when I switched to this synthetic rope, I bent some round rod in there and just welded it in to get rid of any sharp edges, and it also prevents it from wanting to get in beside the pulley track and then the winch it's just uh i've had several on here a um, couple of the cheap ones uh would just go through relays in the relay box and this one's supposed to be all waterproof um i think the ratings on these are pretty arbitrary because a 2500 pound winch struggles pretty pretty heavily to lift something way under 2500 pounds so i ended up going with this 4500 was the most recent one and i love this one so it has a synthetic winch line which is nice because you're not gonna you don't have all them little jiggers all them little you know pokey bits on it but the other thing that's nice is you can actually use the free spool if every time i tried to free spool the one with the wire rope that you get so much memory and tension in here that you pull on it and it backlashes and you have to pull it all out and with this you can just pop it pull out what you need doesn't backlash i've had no issues with strength on this the biggest issue you're going to have with the synthetic is depending on what you're pulling you need to watch for sharp edges so if you pull across a rock i think this stuff would pop really easy so that's the basic modifications. I just have the control box mounted right there. Um, I got a cover. I, I usually throw over it if it's going to be wet for a while. 
and then I go down here I just bought a set of log tongs and it had a hook on there that I cut off but uh, the winch line just clips right in there and that works with the majority of the stuff uh, if I'm trying to lift a bigger log or something I'll just pop that off and just wrap the winch line itself right around it but uh, it seems to work pretty good um, you know uh, just the other day I lifted some I don't know probably 20 inch diameter and 12 foot long maple logs into the back no problem um, I've also used it before when I hauled home some 16 foot fur logs uh, I, I put a short up they they were big like 30 plus inches in diameter and they were up a hill and I just backed the truck into the bank and drug this winch line out and drug them right into the back of the truck so it worked pretty slick for that too but yeah that's just the the real basic uh rundown on it you know this will slide out you know according to this it's only rated for a thousand pounds which i've way overdone that but so i always leave it slid all the way in <clears throat> and that seems to work fine at some point i wouldn't mind maybe rebuilding this i got some stuff sitting around to build it a little little heavier and uh you know it might be nice to put a cylinder in here and like a 12 volt hydraulic pump just so you can do uh you know it makes that more usable you know it really kind of sucks to stand there with the jack handle and pump forever especially with this decreased angle to get this bigger one in here um you got to pump it up a lot to raise it and the reason i couldn't really lower this lower is my swivel point is right here and i messed around with it and actually tried to have it hooked in here and then angle all the way down there uh, with just a piece that welded on here but it gave it too much leverage so you couldn't hardly turn it um but yeah all in all this thing uh, has worked wonderfully and i've used it for a few other random things like i had a fence post in concrete that i wanted to move and i just pulled the truck up beside it and it lifted the whole fence post and concrete block and everything out so if you got any other questions don't hesitate to ask and i'll do my best to answer them so thanks for watching